Hey guys, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is out and we are creating Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen in one framed clay 3D artwork. Clay, clay. Miles Morales returns for the next chapter in the Spider-Verse saga, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. After reuniting with Gwen Stacy, Brooklyn's friendly neighborhood spider, now a full-time Spider-Man, is catapulted across the multiverse where he encounters, well, a lot of Spider-Man, a lot of Spider-People and animals. Well, I saw some trailers. <laughs> it's getting quite weird. I love the visuals. I can't believe I'm so late on the Spider-Verse train. We are creating this beautiful frame 3D clay artwork today, which I'm really excited about. I always loved these frame artwork styles because then after finishing the artwork, it's obvious. I can just hang it to the wall. Yeah, we are starting with Miles Morales. With the aluminum wire I created an armature and now with this black clay it's professional, Fimo professional, which is not that great for easy sculpting because it, um, well, it takes some practice, it's really solid and hard. But with the right modeling tool like the ones I am using, we can bring him into shape and create, well, all the body parts of a full Miles Morales. For me, this is probably the third Spider-Man video in total. Uh, I created one five years ago. Many million views. Um, still really happy about that. But there is one incident in this video. And if you have seen the video, you know what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> five years ago, tiny Simon. No, I wasn't that tiny. So, I created the Spider-Man. Uh, it was even a sponsored video. And then a tiny faux pas. <laughs> I tried to rig Spider-Man, the Finnish clay figurine, to the spider web. And I thought it would be great to drill a hole inside Spider-Man. And I choose poorly where to drill the hole. <laughs> I, I will link the video right here so you can check it out. Uh, many of you complained, but um, well, I think it was funny for us, not for him. <laughs> yeah, and then I think two and a half, three years ago, another framed artwork, uh, which came with, um, what was it? Not Home Alone. <laughs> That's a different movie. Homecoming, yes, it was Homecoming. So another framed artwork where I tried to create a beautiful tiny landscape as well with some Brooklyn styled houses and Spider-Man thring uh, thringing, yeah, swinging just through the houses, the skyscrapers. Yeah, so what about the clay figurine? <laughs> we will bring in a beautiful pattern. Look at that. I could have also gone with um, the scalpel, but instead we will just redefine all these tiny lines with a scalpel. So if you take a mesh or some fabric, you get the most beautiful patterns on clay. It's the third attempt in creating the eyes and also the head. I created them just too thick. So this time I just um, well, cut them out out of a very thin layer of white clay and you have just seen it, an outline. An outline of red clay and we need this red clay for many beautiful details on the suit from Miles Morales. Morales? Morales? Don't want to screw it up. So the symbol, the logo on the chest. 
It's the one he... I think he sprayed it. Like a tag. Yeah, the last details on the spider. And we're almost done. Meanwhile, I'm getting some help from Crystal. She is creating the flying tech scene. Yes, we will see a flying taxi in this framed artwork. It's one of the scenes which we saw in the trailer. Um, Miles and uh, Gwen are swinging through the streets. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I'm not really sure what is happening there. But they somehow protect or react um, the situation by putting some spider webs around this taxi which would otherwise hit some people. Uh, the very very complicated part about this taxi, we, well by we I mean Crystal, tried to make it um, from the right perspective. I don't know how to put this. So the taxi is crooked. It's half halfway out and instead of creating it um, in the right dimensions, here you can see it. We tried to paint with clay and to get the perspective like it's an illusion, an illusion of a full taxi. Yeah, I'm so curious to see how this will finally turn out, especially with the acrylic glass. Oh, and look at that. It's amazing to, to fill in some um, uh, aluminum foil as the spotlights. Two tiny mirrors on the side. Another outline for the wheels. And then we are almost done. Well, the plate is missing. After oven hardening, we will just paint um, the, the numbers onto it. And while the taxi, the cap is finished, we can also work a little bit on the beautiful surroundings. We have two lanterns and Within the diorama we are creating, the street lights will function as the rigs where we can put the, the spider webs hanging from um, so that they create the holding strings for the cap. Oh boy, it's just too late. I can't put together words anymore. <laughs> Ooh, this is exciting. We just paint the acrylic glass and then put it right in front of the aluminum foil. And for the final scenes, I try to use a spotlight, hitting that aluminum foil with very hard light. And hopefully it looks like as if the cap has some real lights. So. You have just seen the frame we're working with. I decided to go with this squared frame. I could have also gone with a different format. But I think that just these squared frames fit perfectly for these tiny landscapes and sceneries. The buildings on the left and on the right side, well, they are all printed out, but I just elevated them only a few millimeters. Look at that. It's just a beautiful effect. Now we can glue the street lamps into the scenery, but that they also stick out. And it makes it just so uh, interesting to look at. With some wings, we are imitating the spider webs. So Miles just protected the people by hitting the cap with his spider wings, strings, sorry, <laughs> and is, um, well, it's just hanging down. So where to put him? Maybe right here. Let's drill a hole and use a screw for that. This tends 
to break after a time, so this time I'm using some super glue to bring the screw in position. And what about Stacy? Crystal created her a while ago. I'll link the video right here. Oh, this looks so beautiful. That's it, guys! The Frame 3D artwork! Miles Morales and Spider Gwen! Fighting together. I hope you enjoyed the video, hit the bell, subscribe the channel, check out these two amazing Spider-Man videos as well, which I did.